Good morning, folks. We've got more top-tier science news to hit today. It will help to be well-versed in the background information, but we are starting with our star, and we find that there were a few more M-class solar flares and CMEs from the departing group. Those are not aimed at Earth, and we continue to have fervent activity at the regions incoming. A bit of weirdness in the solar wind readings. ACE on the right seems to show we are inside the coronal hole stream with very fast plasma speed, but that is not represented in the Discover data on the left at all. Geomagnetic conditions are slightly elevated, but not to storm levels. I'm interested to see how that progresses today. The sunspots are numerous across the disk, incoming, earth-facing, and departing. But it's the more complex groups incoming on the north that have the greater flare potential and which have been the ones to act more unsettled. That continues into this morning. Good chance we'll have a bit more in the solar flare department, but we are also keeping an eye on the plasma filaments. Those thin, snake-like dark ropes crossing into central position are also eruption threats, and they have been calmly stable thus far eyes on all of it. The first article today hits a major cold wave that was a problem for crops in Asia back in 2020. They determined it was all about the jet stream blocking and from several previous papers we know the jet stream blocking is often forced by low solar activity. The sun was still in its minimum phase at that time. We've also seen that Earth's changing magnetic field should be creating more blocking and that one-two punch is the best explanation for why this and other record cold waves like the ones that have hit Texas in recent years have occurred. People had a lot of questions about that Dansgaard Oshker story from March 3rd. Here's the paper. When those events occurred, it created more than a 10 degree jump in temperature in as little as a decade. Compare that to what they scare us with on the news with global warming. A new study has found the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation continues to weaken and accelerates that weakening. They want to blame human-caused climate change, but it's also what we've seen in past events of these millennial climate shifts, also when the magnetic field was changing rapidly. And speaking of which, they have now found what is likely the mid-cycle event between Le Champ and Vostok. They say they can't be certain it wasn't just a Le Champ evidence that's hard to date properly, but their best guess is somewhere between 50 to 55,000 years ago we had a mini magnetic excursion. That's the halfway point between the early Le Champ and Vostok events, which would be by the math about 54,000 years ago. The more they discover, the more it's looking like the 6,000 year half cycles are just slightly smaller versions of the 12,000 year cycle. Picture nearing completion. We greatly appreciate your support. Check all the links below the video for your resources. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.